Today on the show, we're taking a look at the Back to the Future Time Machine 2. Hey guys, welcome back to Comageddon TV, where all geek culture collides. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Alright guys, as I said, today we're taking a look at the Hot Wheels Back to the Future Time Machine 2. Uh, as you can see here, I've got my other DeLorean Time Machines out. Uh, we have the first DeLorean Time Machine here from Back to the Future 1 and from Back to the Future 3. Uh, this actually, it says Time Machine 2, so it's actually from the very end of Back to the Future. Uh, however, I believe it's the same, same style that they use in Back to the Future 2. Uh, so they, they really could make it interchangeable. Uh, they could put Back to the Future 2 on there, which I'm sure they probably will do if they haven't released it yet. Uh, they had multiple of these in stock at Walmart yesterday when I came across it. Uh, but as you can see here, 50 years of Hot Wheels. Got the Back to the Future logo there. It is a metal, real writers. Came out in 2017. Made in Thailand. And there's the other information. Uh, HotWheelsCollectors.com, Mattel, Back to the Future, and Universal Studios. You can also check out MattelShop.com. So anyway, there's that. Let's go ahead and open this guy. I'm sorry, this car up and take a look at it. Alright, so... <clears throat> First, let's compare it with the others. Side by side, front to back. And you can see they really tried to keep, tried to keep them all in scale with each other. It's almost like they just had one base model and just adjusted it according to the movie. As you can see here, let me lower this a little bit. There we go. That's better. As you can see here, no Mr. Fusion on this one. Got a Mr. Fusion on the back of two. Uh, the tops. Uh, got a little bit more color on the two. Uh, the first, the original straight um, not really black but kind of a dark gray then on two got more of a whiter gray uh, the windows are clearer whereas with number one the windows are tinted blue uh, I can see few differences from the sides uh, the first one uh, the first Back to the Future film Time Machine uh, it's got a light very light blue on this piece on the front end and it's got a black piece right here I'm sorry guys there's a plane or helicopter or something flying overhead head it's really annoying I need a soundproof room, but this is going to have to do. Uh, so anyway, we've got the black line here. There is no black line on the two. Uh, as you can see, the rims on the wheels are very different. And that's to incorporate the hover conversion for the two. You know, where Dr. Emmett says roads... Where we're going, we don't need roads. And that would have been really nice if Hot Wheels would have incorporated something like that. Where the wheels could, you know, kind of fold. But I can understand why they didn't, why they couldn't. It would have been a lot more expensive than the typical Hot Wheels car. But here's what I meant by different wheels. Different rims. Uh, 
and you can see the tires too uh, the, with the rims on this one on part one's DeLorean being a lot bigger the tires are a lot thinner whereas with two the tires are bigger while the rims are smaller and as you can see on the two uh, these three things right there by my thumb are also painted while with one they're not and something I didn't notice before is they did go into very good detail on the license plates out of time on the first one and then more of a uh, barcode license plate on the second one. And then on the first one, you've got... I can't really make out what that says. Oh, it says DeLorean. <laughs> as blurry. Uh, but on the second one, it doesn't say that. Different bumper as well as the different rear lights too. So that's pretty nice. So anyway, there's the comparison and the weight difference between the two. Uh, the first one, Back to the Future 1, is a lot lighter. Uh, Back to the Future 2 is a lot heavier. Well, not a lot heavier, but it's definitely, it's definitely noticeable. There's definitely a weight difference there. Back to the Future 1, it, it feels like... If you were holding a dollar and quarters, that would be the weight of that one. Uh, the Back to the Future 2 car, let me adjust this, there we go. Uh, the Back to the Future 2 car, uh, it feels like the weight of maybe two or three dollars and quarters. Um, pretty heavy and of course back to the future 3 is heavier still than back to the future 2 and as you can see let's go ahead and aim that down there we go uh, as you can see there are differences as well between back to the future 2 and back to the future 3 um, <clears throat> it has more of these little black straps or whatever around the uh, wheel well, I guess you can say, uh, which Back to the Future Two does not have. Uh, they went back. They went to a black uh, thruster type deal with a white Mister Fusion. Uh, whereas Back to the Future 2 has gray thrusters with white Mr. Fusion. The windows are the same color, same tint, uh, very clear. Uh, Back to the Future 3 time machine, as you can see they added this strap. Uh, both front ends are virtually identical. Um, they darkened up the strap on the front end, did a little bit darker blue, sorry guys, did a little bit darker blue on that spot right there. And then of course did the white wall tires with the red rims, very nice. Now let's go in order, check out the, uh information on the bottoms back to the future time machine universal studios hot wheels blah 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 right, number two that one's uh you can make that out a lot better than the first one the print is so small on the first one it's not really engraved as much 
that one's a lot nicer. And then number three, that one's nice as well. And it's even got the date. Okay, so this was from 1955 in Back to the Future 3. Um, where Dr. Emmett Brown in the year 1955 had to adjust the time machine to get Marty back to the Wild West. Uh, back to the Future 1955, 2016. Universal Studios. Uh, this... It does not have the date on this one. So, I will say, I'm pretty sure that this is from the end of Back to the Future, Part 1. When Dr. Brown comes back and says, uh, No, there's a problem with your kids, Marty. Bring Jennifer with you. Um... So that's when this comes in. And I'm sure there's probably a few mod minor modifications to uh, the car, the time machine uh, in Back to the Future 2. Uh, once I pick up an official Back to the Future 2 DeLorean, I'll go over it. Then on one... There is no date. There is no copyright. Well, I mean, obviously there's a copyright, but there's not a copyright date. Uh, let's put these in order there. So there you have it, guys. On this minifigure Monday, we have... So there you have it guys on this minifigure Monday we have the Hot Wheels 50th anniversary Back to the Future Time Machine 2. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Take care my friends.